Imagine being able to connect with anyone, no matter how different their personality might be from yours. That sounds like an essential skill these days, doesn't it? That's why today, we're diving into the fascinating topic of understanding and managing different personality types by using our emotional intelligence without getting emotional. Emotional intelligence, or EQ, is all about recognizing, understanding, and managing our own emotions and influencing the emotions of others. It's a superpower that involves four key components. First, develop self-awareness in dealing with and understanding your own emotions. Knowing yourself is all about getting in tune with your own feelings. You know, like when you're about to snap at someone and you catch yourself thinking, whoa, why am I so angry right now? Second, control your self-management by regulating your emotions in a healthy way. Keeping yourself in check is where you become your own emotional advisor. You're not suppressing feelings, but you're also not letting them run wild. It's like having an internal control volume for your emotions. Third, enhance your social awareness by empathizing at a higher level with others' emotions. Reading the room is your emotional radar for other people. It's picking up on how others are feeling, even when they're not saying it out loud. Like when you can tell your friend is upset just by the way they're slouching. Fourth, practice relationship management by using emotional awareness to manage interactions. Navigating relationships like a pro is where you put it all together. You're using what you know about your own emotions and others to smooth out your interactions. It's like being the conductor of an emotional orchestra, making sure everyone's playing in harmony. By developing our emotional intelligence, we can navigate social interactions more effectively and build stronger, more meaningful relationships. Each of us has a unique personality type that influences how we think, feel, and behave. By understanding these different personality types, we can tailor our communication and interactions to better connect with others. Let's dive even deeper into some common personality types and explore how to communicate and interact with each other more effectively. Introverts. Introverts often need space to process their thoughts and feelings, respect their need for solitude, and allow them time to recharge. When communicating, be patient and give them the opportunity to express themselves without pressure. Extroverts. Extroverts thrive on social interaction and may appreciate more engaging and lively conversations. They often enjoy group activities and discussions. Be prepared to participate actively and show enthusiasm in your interactions with them. Thinkers. Thinkers prefer logical and rational discussions. They value clear, concise communication and appreciate well-reasoned arguments. Focus on facts and evidence when discussing topics with thinkers. Feelers. Feelers value empathy and emotional support. They are often in tune with their own emotions and the emotions of others. When interacting with feelers, show compassion and understanding and be open to discussing emotions. Now, let's consider some more complex personality types and how to manage interactions with them. Narcissists. Narcissists often have an inflated sense of self-importance and a deep need for admiration. They may lack empathy and be preoccupied with fantasies of success and power. When dealing with narcissists, set clear boundaries and avoid engaging in power struggles. Focus on factual information and remain calm and composed. Fearful avoidance. Fearful avoidance experience a combination of anxiety and avoidance in the relationships. They may crave intimacy, but also fear getting too close to others. Be patient and understanding, offering reassurance without overwhelming them. Encourage open communication while respecting their need for space. Avoidance. Avoidance tend to distance themselves emotionally from others to avoid vulnerability. They often suppress their feelings and may appear detached. When interacting with avoidance, be consistent and reliable, offering support without pressuring them to open up. Give them time to feel comfortable and build trust gradually. Secure individuals. Secure individuals are generally comfortable with intimacy and independence. They're able to communicate effectively and maintain healthy relationships. Interact with secure individuals with openness and honesty as they are typically responsive and supportive. Just like I'm supportive of any comment you want to leave to advance this topic further. Now that we've explored various personality types, from the common to the complex, you might be wondering, how does this emotional intelligence play into all of this? Well, our ability to understand and interact effectively with different personalities is deeply rooted in our own emotional intelligence. So let's examine how EQ impacts our communication and relationships, both positively and negatively. The positive effects starts with enhanced empathy. Emotional intelligence allows individuals to understand 
and empathize with the emotions of others. This empathy fosters deeper connections and more supportive relationships. Think about a time when a friend was really upset and you just knew exactly what to say to make them feel better. That's enhanced empathy at work. Improved conflict resolution. High emotional intelligence helps individuals manage their emotions during conflicts, leading to more constructive and less confrontational resolutions. Remember that argument you had with a sibling or a partner that didn't end in a shouting match? If it did end in calm discussion, that's improved conflict resolution. Effective communication. Emotionally intelligent individuals can express their thoughts and feelings clearly and appropriately, reducing misunderstandings and fostering open, honest communication. Ever had a team meeting where everyone's ideas were heard and valued, leading to a great solution? If you have, that's effective communication. Stronger relationships. By recognizing and validating the emotion of others, emotionally intelligent individuals build trust and strengthen their relationships. Just like when you tap that thumbs up to show that our relationship through this content is working for you. Thanks, I truly appreciate it. Now, let's take a look at the negative effects starting with manipulation risk. Those with high emotional intelligence might use their skills to manipulate others' emotions for personal gain, leading to unhealthy and exploitive relationships. Ever felt like someone was playing with your emotions to get what they wanted? That's manipulation risk. Emotional overload. Being highly attuned to others' emotions can sometimes lead to emotional overload or burnout, especially if individuals are not careful about setting boundaries. Think about feeling completely drained after helping friends with their problems all day. That's emotional overload. Suppression of your own emotions. In an effort to manage relationships smoothly, emotionally intelligent individuals might suppress their own emotions, leading to stress and resentment over time. Have you ever bottled up your feelings to avoid conflict only to feel worse later? That's suppression of your own emotions. Overanalyzing. Constantly analyzing and managing emotions can lead to overthinking, causing anxiety and making interactions feel less natural and more strained. Remember a time when you overthought every word in a conversation? Making it stressful instead of enjoyable? That's overanalyzing. Conflict is a natural part of any relationship, but by approaching it with emotional intelligence, we can navigate disagreements more effectively. Active listening, empathy, and open communication are key tools for resolving conflicts and building stronger connections with others. Remember, emotional intelligence is a skill that can be developed and honed over time. By understanding and managing different personality types with empathy and self-awareness, we can create more harmonious relationships and lead a more fulfilling life. To learn more about how to get along with different personality types, check out this video next. I'll see you online soon.